Okay, we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, simple machines, uh, the inclined plane, the wedge, and the screw. Um, first of all, first of all, we're gonna look at that. There's a dot. Look, I'm gonna. It's like a sniper is gonna shoot the the P in the in the corner. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go through this really quickly because we've already talked about this stuff. These are the other three that we haven't mentioned so far: an inclined plane, the simple machines, uh, wedge antilles, and uh, screw you, man. Uh, so, let's move on. Um, we are going to be talking about the mechanical advantages of uh, all three of those and how to calculate them. Uh, they have all the same formulas. Uh, you can uh, look at the other video if you want to refresh your memory on what those things are. These are the exact same slides. Uh, it's just put in the, put in a new, a new PowerPoint. So, yeah, same slides as before. Um... So you can read those again, ideal mechanical advantages still, this is something maybe you should write down again, uh, ideal mechanical advantage is the effort over the resistance, or day over doctor, I don't know. Um, the For each of these simple machines we're going to look at uh, what the distance of the effort is and what the distance of the resistance is, uh, because they're different for each uh, simple machine. Uh, you think about them differently. Actual can mechanical advantage is still uh, the force of the resistance over the force of the effort. Right, Frank? Frank's not here. Uh, inclined plane. Okay, now we get to talk about stuff that's n kind of new. Uh, so an inclined plane is like a ramp. Uh, it's a flat surface set in an angle or an incline. Oh, like an incline. This is the angle uh, of elevation. Uh, it's able to lift objects by pushing or pulling. So, like, instead of lifting it straight up, you can push it up a ramp and it's easier. Um, but it t you have to travel longer to do it. Okay? Alright. Woo. Going straight through, man. Uh, inclined plane IMA. Remember, the formula is still the same. The distance of the effort over the distance of the resistance. However... The distance of the effort, usually for like wheels and axles, we think about the diameter or the circumference of the uh, the the wheel or something like that, and then the weight diameter or circumference of the uh, axle or something. But for this, um, the distance of the effort is just how much you're going to travel up the inclined plane. So the distance of the effort is distance traveled. They call that L. Uh, it's that slope length. Um, you'll be using Pythagorean theorem. Maybe write that down, Pythagorean theorem, uh, to to calculate the length of the slope sometimes, and then the distance, uh, or for the resistance, is just what you would do normally if you didn't have the the uh, the inclined plane. So what is the IMA of the inclined plane above? Well, that's just three point seven five because you do fifteen divided by four. That's it's pretty easy. Um, and then the actual mechanical advantage, same same idea. Uh, it, you have to perform the experiment for this. For inclined plane planes, <laughs> plane, uh, like a uh, what is the actual mechanical advantage of the inclined plane above? So you have to know how much your what the force of the effort is. The force of the effort is just pushing it up the ramp. Um, and then the force of the resistance is just the weight of the object, as if you were just lifting it up. The distance of the resistance. So, just know that. So there you go for that. So what is the AMA? Well, um, the AMA would be just the force of resistance. That would be 50 pounds, because from the picture, 50 pounds. Divided by, so this is AMA. Ask me anything. Uh, divided by 20 pounds. Huh? Mm. This is five over two. And there you have it, kids. That is, that is. Remember, percent efficiency. You can calculate that. Uh, I'm just gonna write that formula down to refresh your memory. So the percent efficiency is just the AMA divided by the IMA times 100. You can see how efficient uh, this thing is um, at like lifting the object. It's not very efficient because you have to travel a lot more distance. Um, but it'll feel easier. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? It's pretty nice. Uh, wedge Antilles. From Star Wars. It's from Star Wars. Uh, wedge. Functions are to help uh, the rogue squadron of uh, X-Wings and, and Y-Wings. They say help them blow up the Death Star. 
and like maybe wrap the cables around the the the, the ATAT walkers. Um, no, this is with this different functions as a moving incline plane. It's like a moving incline plane. That's nice. That's kind of cool. Uh, tapers into a thin edge. It's used for splitting like wood. It's used to like prop open a door. Um, you know, you know, that's just those things. Uh, moving on. All right, wedge IMA, same thing. Distance of the effort over the distance of the resistance. Uh, but what is the effort? What is the effort? Okay, this is a little bit different than the the incline plane because it with the incline plane we're using slope. Here we're not using slope. This is different. This is just um, distance travel. It's L. It's just the height of the wedge. Okay. Well, I, well, this is perpendicular to the height. That's sorry. So it's just this distance. I'm gonna call it the altitude, just to remind you from geometry. That's the altitude of the triangle. And then the height would be like the base of the triangle. Okay. We have our your all our base is um, belong to us. I don't know what the I forgot. What is the IMA of the wedge shown? Um, yeah, we just do just ten divided by three. Isn't that right? Okay, that's easy enough. Uh, moving on. That's a formula you're gonna have to use in your your homework. You know what? I'm gonna stop this. Look at all these slides. I'm gonna stop this and make a part two later. Like in like a few seconds, I'm gonna make a part two, and you're gonna have to watch the part two.